Let's go back to a time and place before this era of hyper-egos and mass communications, when survival of the group was most important, when one was more thankful for the abundant gifts from their mother nature than of their talents as farmers, when life lessons, morality, and survival skills were passed down to each generation by the spoken stories told by the elders, a time when no one wanted their picture taken, not for the fear of losing their souls, but for the notion it seemed redundant. Lucky for us, a 20-year-old Lee Marmon returned home to his birthplace at the Laguna Pueblo in New Mexico after serving in the cold, dark Aleutian Islands at the end of World War II. Lee captured on film the transition from the ancient ways of the Pueblo people into the post-World War industrial modern society. Let's take a few moments to slow down, relax, and revisit this magical place and time. I was born and raised in Laguna Pueblo, New Mexico, which is 45 miles west of Albuquerque, and I lived in uh, the old Santa Fe Railroad Station most of my life. We had a trading post in Laguna. My dad was in the trading post business all of his life. I used to uh, deliver groceries to the outlying villages I had an old Model A pickup most of the time. I'd take the camera with me and see an old person sitting out sunning themselves or maybe working in the garden and I would always ask if I could get their picture. You could spark up a conversation with anybody on the reservation to see a picture of one of their elders and then they start talking and tell about the funny things that happened and reminiscing about the old days. I just came up to see what Marla did with this uh, painting from one of my photographs. Some other ones that uh, have been influenced by your photography as well have been... Um, oh, the one. Rileys. Yeah. Yeah. I, the story was I was delivering groceries and they, he happened to be sitting out there. And um, so uh, I said, well, uh, how about a picture of the two of you? And, and they talked it over and he said, well, I want my melon in it. So I said, okay. So he brought that little saddle blanket out and put the melon on it, and that made, it, uh, made him happy and got a good picture of the two of them. What were we talking about? Oh, oh. Yeah. talking about the old days down in oh, Old Laguna. Yeah, so is this one um, sold already? Yeah, that one's sold. It's going to uh, that goes collection of uh, New Western wear for Christmas for Ralph, Ralph Lauren. Did I say it? Lauren? Yeah. Lauren? Yeah. yeah. I was walking up the road and everybody hollered, hey, hey, look behind you, something's falling. Big old rattlesnake was following me. Oh my gosh. They hate me, those snakes. They know me yeah, I everywhere I go. Well, here we are inside this uh, 311 year old church. The Spanish were always looking for gold, right Lee? Right. Oh, did they love that gold. They didn't find any gold here. I went out to California in 1966 and eventually became the number one photographer for the Bob Hope Desert Classic. And here's my favorite celebrity shot, Dino, Dean Martin. better just to shoot uh, candid, just the way they were, and that's part of the uh, beauty of my work. It's really candid 
the way the people lived, the way the people looked, and what they were doing. And I'm just sorry that I didn't take more pictures and spend more time, but I didn't realize the importance of all this until later years. But I'm glad I got what I have now on, on record.